Who would win in a fight? Pacific Rim, Jaegers, or Mecha Godzilla? Well, today we're going to be reacting to a video that explains all of that. So let's go. What if Jaegers made themselves present? I feel like Mecha Godzilla would destroy in this episode, we because just he's way bigger. Let me know what you guys think. To wage war and Pacific Rim Uprising you, trash not movie. Just any monsters. Today we will feature not just one, but three different titans. Kong, the G-Man, and Mechagodzilla. Okay, I'm All destroying every single Jaeger. Kong, I don't know, Kong is weak. Scenario unique. If this is your first time here, please remember to follow or subscribe to our channel to be the first to see epic kaiju fight content. Coming up, Pacific Rim Jaegers in the MonsterVerse. Before we throw our Jaegers against Woo! the MonsterVerse Kaiju, we need to first understand what these things really are. Why they they're were just built robots. And how they physically compare against Monster I mean, they were built to literally destroy Kaijus like that, but these Kaijus are in way too small. Universe, Earth is attacked from within by super intelligent alien life forms that unleash massive sea monsters via underwater pack populated areas. After seeing that nuking these creatures only led to self-destruction, the United Nations greenlighted an initiative to build massive human-shaped mechs which would leverage human mobility, Ooh. dexterity, and intelligence, and amplify these abilities on a larger scale, enough to fight monsters in hand-to-hand -hand combat. By fighting them in this manner, humanity would no longer have to use nukes and destroy their own cities. Building these could come at a massive cost. How much however. do you guys think For they example, would cost? Just one of these could like a trillion dollars? One hundred billion dollars. Elon Musk can build like three of them. <laughs> Imagine a Tesla mecha. These Jaegers varied in size from 230 to up to 280 feet in height. In terms of weight, these were a lot lighter than anticipated. Now, admittedly, the official weights for these Jaegers are all over the place, some ranging from 2,000 tons to up to 7,000 tons. For the purposes of making these as realistic as possible in this video, we will align with the higher end figures provided. By comparing the physical proportions How much does Mecha Godzilla weigh? Monster vs. opponents? We have a massive gap in terms of weight and Oh height, my god, look at the it difference. It would be illogical for a single Jaeger to successfully defeat any of these Yeah, that would be impossible. All three of these titans, especially Mecha Godzilla, would have Woo! a massive height advantage over any of these Jaegers. Not to mention that a single swipe of these extremely heavy kaiju would pack enough force to destroy a Jaeger with a single hit. I'll and slap Kong, he'll, all he'll, he'll go to bed. Have some serious upper body strength. The only way to make these scenarios at all interesting will be by assigning a number of Jaegers to take on these kaiju. Not a 1v1 match, but a squad of these to carry on an assault against our MonsterVerse contestants. Now that we have a clearer picture of how these Jaegers could perform, let us now start analyzing our first battle scenario. Number 1, Jaegers versus Kong. I mean, if there's more than one Kong, I think, I mean more than one Jaeger, I think they might have a chance. Dexterity, mobility, and weapon wielding capabilities. Defeating a titan such as this will require immense upper body strength and definitely handheld weapons that can counter its own. Fortunately for the Jaeger program, it has a plethora of mechs with different types of handheld weapons that could possibly aid in inflicting damage to Kong. By housing humans inside a mech, this will allow these pilots to literally know what it would feel like to fight Kong just as if they were fighting another human. Except Kong is far superior. Compared to an average Ooh. Jaeger build, Kong is much more robust, wider, and not only that, he has proven to be one of the most intelligent titans in the MonsterVerse. I'm smarter. In terms of combat ability, almost as intelligent I'm smarter. as a human. Knowing this, we can rule out the possibility of a single Jaeger defeating Kong. We will need a lot more. For this specific Three? Four? Fight, I think the most oh my. important factors to consider is Four Jaegers might defeat Kong. Two, mobility and I mean, all they have to do is just go back and just shoot In their terms cannons. Of dexterity, both humans and Kong will be able to wield handheld weapons. Kong just happens to be a master at this sort of thing. 
once vastly outnumbered, an intelligent titan like Kong would quickly look for anything that would give him the edge before he engages in close combat. Anything, such as his axe, for instance, would immediately oh give Kong the edge in handheld weapons. Yo, what about Kong, no to Kong Skull Island? He was so much smaller there. Could the Eagers defeat him this then? This weapon alone is estimated to be approximately 207 feet in length. More than two-thirds the length oh of the largest Eagers. <laughs> Imagine someone hurling an extremely heavy axe at you. The results would be catastrophic. This weapon with these swing speeds would be able to send a single Jaeger flying or potentially cut it in half. Dispatching Jaegers in this form would only mean that Kong would quickly be able to render down a squadron of Jaegers to half their number. In order to defeat Kong, the remaining Jaegers would have to resort to their numbers and strategy. One thing that Kong has a serious advantage over the Jaegers in is mobility. Now it's important to note that not all of these are created equal. Some Jaegers, such as the Mark VI seen in Pacific Rim Uprising, were a lot more agile than its predecessors. But compared to Kong, these pale in comparison. Jaegers do not have a leap ability like Kong does, meaning that in terms of movement, Kong would easily be able to pick these off one by one by flanking <laughs> them and taking them out on their weaker sides. The only way to defeat this creature would be by teamwork, and a clever use of some of their better weapons, such as the Arc Whip capable of lassoing Kong's appendages, disabling a limb for some time. Or furthermore, the use of a gravity sling, a weapon capable of hurling objects at Kong, leveraging centrifugal force. A constant barrage of objects hurled at a distance would potentially weaken this titan. But then again, Kong's ability to throw back these objects would cancel this oh out. Oh my god, <laughs> bro that Jaeger no got yeeted. <laughs> A giant ape with supernatural leaping abilities, immense strength, dexterity, and intelligence grants the MonsterVerse its first win. Though realistically, if any kaiju were to side with humans, it would have been Kong. So in a real life situation, we would most likely never I doubt see this it. happen. Nah, I doubt Next, it. Next, humanity will face a titan who will voluntarily attack humanity if provoked. Yeah, if you guys, if no, you guys disrespect me. Versus the G Man. I might have to fix some After a things up. defeat against Kong, the Jaegers now have to switch their attention to a Titan that, if provoked, could unleash calamity and destruction okay. to all If humanity. they bring like a hundred Jaegers, I think I'll just destroy them. Now picking a fight with a massive 390 foot tall kaiju with atomic weapons will be no easy task. Exactly. Especially since this kaiju is a whopping 99,000 tons. 99,000 compared to the 7,000 tons these guys weigh. Times the weight of a single Jaeger, assuming Jaegers were actually that heavy. To put this into weight perspective, this would be the same as a 160 pound person fighting against approximately 13 overweight house cats. <laughs> except you're armed with atomic ray weaponry, and they aren't. If you were a Jaeger pilot, you would now have the honor of being able to combat Godzilla in hand to hand combat. I'm sorry, on yeah, a but I, scale. You, you guys you're just have to alone. run away. Now, how that doesn't the matter. Fair against such odds? To begin, let's bring out some of the most important factors to consider. Ranged weaponry, overall strength, and corporal builds. Exactly. In the past, we have seen the G-Man go up against different enemies. In 1v1 confrontations, Godzilla Ooh. proves to be a champion in single-hand combat. But against many foes, Godzilla will struggle a bit more. This time, the G-Man will now face an entire squadron of Jaegers. So the best thing we can do to simulate the outcome is to think like Godzilla. We know this guy has a solid strategic acumen and will try to exploit any advantage he can before engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As Godzilla sees these approaching, he will most likely be met with a barrage of explosives. Okay, it weapons. doesn't matter if the explosives just use the atomic Godzilla beam, bro. Deploy atomic breath exactly. And attempt to wipe out as much of the opposing squadron as possible since he's severely outnumbered. Can Godzilla destroy Jaegers at range? Yes. This atomic blast is so powerful that against much lighter opponents, these would literally be sent flying or simply obliterated due to the blast. Once seeing that long range combat is detrimental, yeah, these, these Jaegers are getting destroyed. Godzilla as one. Which brings us to our next attributes strength and builds. 
A 99,000 ton kaiju equipped with extremely strong upper and lower body strength would be able to easily dismantle the smaller Jaegers with ease. You Guys, all I have to do is just sit on top of them and they're all dead. <laughs> That's all I have to do. Sharp tipped claws. But a more devastating weapon against these Jaegers would be its tail. This particular Titan would be more difficult to attack from the rear thanks to this weapon. We have seen this tail in action, sending Kong flying and even executing another Titan. Ooh. A much lighter Jaeger hit by the tip of this tail, for instance, would instantly be sliced down the middle. Getting hit in the thicker section. Oh my, bro got Jaeger cut in half. To get smashed to pieces, or worse, suffer a solid impact by the smaller dorsal plates. But will any of these weapons cause serious harm to uh, Godzilla? No. Mm. Harm, yes, but serious, not likely. <laughs> Godzilla's skin is capable of withstanding very high temperatures. Its thick hide helps mitigate deep flesh wounds and a body so dense that it would be proportionally difficult to penetrate given that these weapons are very light compared to the G-Man's dense body. Almost like trying to cut through lead with a knife. Although possible, it would take an immense force behind the strike to cut deep. Another challenge is that most of these blades used by these Jaegers are superheated, meaning that if they do cut, these would most likely cauterize the wound, stopping yeah, it. I don't, I, don't, I don't think As they would do much. See, bringing down Godzilla at any proximity would be a difficult task even for an entire squadron of Jaegers. Almost impossible without taking heavy losses. Although fighting against Godzilla could be necessary on some occasions, Godzilla I mean, why would you want to fight me? You know what I mean? Like, why? Voluntarily attack unless provoked. The final monster. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Now, I hope you guys learned something. I'm the strongest. Nobody can beat me. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button, guys. Peace.